On January 15, 2020, NOAA, NASA, published its global analysis for 2019 and once again demonstrated a persistent failing. The case against NASA is that its reporting of climate science data is unbalanced. It shows a bias towards only reporting results that support one climate hypothesis while refraining from publishing results that deviate. This headline is a case in point. All the sources of data show rapid warming in the past few decades. Major decisions are made on the back of such statements and its use of emotional and subjective terms such as rapid. For example, British politicians are considering banning hybrid cars from 2035 as a direct result of such unbalanced reporting. To demonstrate this lack of balance, we undertook an independent review of the data. This independent annual global analysis for 2019 found that, in fact, temperatures are falling across the globe. You may think this conclusion fanciful. Wait just a few moments for the evidence to emerge. We noted from the global analysis that the average rate of global temperature increases since 1880 is 0.07 degrees Celsius per decade. We wanted to determine the most recent rate of increase. Not wishing to be accused of cherry picking, we selected the same range as that selected by NASA, 2015 to 2019 the last five years. We used exactly the same method, the same tool, as used by NOAA on its website. It was found that over the past five years, the global average temperature has decreased at a rate approximately twice the average rate of increase since 1880. One interpretation of this result might be that a peak has been reached and that a gradual decline or cooling has begun. But any such conclusion would be premature. A more thorough analysis was required. We looked first at the Northern Hemisphere. We found that the Northern Hemisphere is decreasing in temperature at around three times the rate it had previously increased. What of the Southern Hemisphere? This again suggests that a peak has been reached and that a cooling is taking place at roughly the same rate as the previous increase. To get a better picture, we utilised a feature of the NOAA tool that breaks down the globe into separate regions. We started with Africa. This enormous continent showed the same downward trend at roughly the same rate as the previous rate of increase. But then, moving on to other regions, we were in for a series of shocks. South America has been cooling at a rate around eight times faster than the previous increase. The Caribbean islands have been cooling at a rate around ten times faster than the previous increase. The Atlantic MDR region has again been cooling at a rate around 12 to 13 times faster than the previous increase. The Eastern North Pacific has been cooling at a rate around 19 to 20 times faster than the previous increase. The Gulf of Mexico has been cooling at a rate 24 times faster and North America. North America has been cooling at a rate roughly 28 times faster than the previous global increase. There must be somewhere on the globe where the temperature is rising. Asia. Asia is pumping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. It must be getting warmer.
No. Asia is cooling at roughly four times the rate of the previous increase. Is there anywhere on the globe where the temperature is actually increasing? We found three areas. The Hawaiian region, Oceania, and Greta Land. Sorry, I mean Europe. But to sum up at a global level, we did a further cut of the data. From the NOAA data, we determined that since 1880, the global ocean has increased in temperature by 0.06 degrees Celsius per decade. Over the past five years, it has cooled at a slightly greater rate of 0.07 degrees Celsius per decade. On the land, since 1880, the global land has increased in temperature by 0.11 degrees Celsius per decade. Over the past five years, it has cooled at roughly three times that rate. So, we return to the initial conclusion that over the past five years, the global average temperature is on a downward cooling trend. Temperatures are falling across the globe. The world has cooled over the past five years. What could account for this five-year trend? Could it be that the ceaseless efforts of the IPCC, the World Economic Forum, the United Nations, the Paris Climate Agreement and various climate action groups have achieved their objectives? Could it be that the sacrifices of the attendees as they leave their normal offices, leave their homes and families, leave to fly. Yes, fly. Fly to exotic locations and there be wined and dined. Could it be that their tireless efforts have borne fruit? No. Carbon dioxide levels are still rising. We now come to a key point in this video. Having found no correlation between rising carbon dioxide levels and the five-year global cooling trend, we would like not to repeat the unbalanced reporting of NASA. Instead, we would like to arrive at a more even-handed conclusion. To do so, we enlist the help of the IPCC and NOAA. We are happy to say that we fully agree with the IPCC statement that says trends based on short records are very sensitive to the beginning and end dates and do not in general reflect long-term climate trends. To balance that, could the IPCC and NOAA remind us that some of the global warming since 1850 could be a recovery from the Little Ice Age? rather than a direct result of human activities. This was reported 30 years ago, but seems to have dropped out of fashion. Both parties could add balance by showing climate data from the last 2,000 years that shows the rise and fall of temperature is a perfectly normal phenomenon. They could show the current trend spread over 140 years, has recent counterparts that were spread over longer periods. They could show 40-year trends that occurred with significantly higher rates than the past 40 years. All of which would add sound objective balance. This unbalanced headline could gain balance and objectivity simply by removing the emotive word rapid. It could be further improved by adding the caveat that there has been a cooling trend over the past five years. This would help NASA improve its credibility while giving governments better information upon which to base their decisions and not to put all their eggs in one basket. 
to take a more balanced view. For it may be getting cooler. <laughs>